Hi everyone, it's Akasha and today's story time is going to be about the time I got scammed $400. That's a lot of money. Well, at least for me who's broke. <laughs> so basically, I had to get a camera, which is the camera I'm using right now, but um, I was originally trying to get a T6i and what I have right now is a T5i, but I was trying to get a T6i and <clears throat> I decided to look on Amazon because like you know no one gets scammed on Amazon right <laughs> and so I had like work I remember working so much that week at the time I was working and I was working at a shoe place and I worked so much because I just wanted to get my camera and I also was in a competition where I needed a camera to take photos and put in the competition because I was in the photography part of the competition and so, yeah, I was in the photography part of the competition and I had to get a camera. So I went on Amazon and I don't know where the exact link is. I assume the seller is off of there because of this happening now. But I went um, on Amazon, I searched up the Canon T6i and I found the one that looked the most, I guess, not a scam. <laughs> and I bought it and it was somewhere around $400 to $500. And um, I looked at reviews too on this person's page who was selling it and all of them were like really positive and I was like, okay, that's good. And then I remembered waiting and waiting and waiting and I'm one of those people who like tracks my package. So like everywhere it goes, like I'm tracking it like, oh, it just reached, you know, like my city or like the post office in my city or like, you know, like I know all that stuff because I signed up for a little text update. So I was waiting and waiting and then I got an update and I remember being in class and it said that my camera was delivered to my house in New York. Now I live in Virginia so I was like okay, it has to be a mix up right? Or like I was thinking like okay um, this is not okay like why is my camera in New York you know la 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 all that sort of stuff and then I went home and my camera wasn't there and at this point I was kind of freaking out because like that's a lot of money and it's getting really close to this competition and I need my camera and I didn't have a camera and now my camera was in New York so the first thing I did was like kind of, I think I called the post office in New York or I don't know who I called but I think it was the post office there or like the USPS there and I told her about what had happened and that how I live in Virginia and that basically they, my package was in New York and she tried to look, but there was like minimal information she could get about what was in the package. And then I told her how much my package weighed because when you buy something, usually on Amazon, it tells you how much it weighs. So that, I guess, I don't know why it tells you, but it tells you. So I saw how much it weighed and then I told her and then she told me that the package that was in New York weighed much less than what I was saying. And so at that point I knew that it wasn't my camera and it also like she said that it was a really small town or whatever and they basically know everyone there and that it couldn't have been my package and all this other stuff. So I was like, okay, well thanks. And then I went ahead and I wanted to like call the bank and like cancel the payment. But at that point I didn't know if I should, but I also don't think I, I didn't think I could. So I um, went on Amazon and I went and I think it was like the customer service. I don't remember like I don't remember where I called, but it was on Amazon and I called the customer service I guess. And this guy picked up and he was literally flirting so hard. Like I just want my money back and my package and my camera. Please stop flirting with me. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> and like he was just flirting and I was like, okay, well, you know, la la la, he couldn't really help me out. So then I went on Amazon again and I went into like the chat help thing and in there I spoke to a girl this time and I had told her what happened and I was like, yeah, like the previous person I was talking was literally just flirting with me, so, you know, and she apologized for it, which wasn't even her fault. Um, she apologized for it and then she saw into my order and she saw what had happened and she said that they would give me a refund and I had to wait so long for my refund but I finally got it and I ended up getting my camera and I also um, got it like I think it was like a week before the competition but I still got my photos done and I will 
I'll put them right here. There's like four of them, I think, and they were about like, hang on, I can't think. I think it was about beauty, because I don't remember the exact um, theme, but it was about beauty. Oh, and the event I went to, it's also called Mist, like M-I-S-T, Mist, like, you know, like the spray mist, you know, like, I don't know. Um, yeah, last year's theme was the challenge of beauty, striving for perfection in an imperfect world. And um, you basically had to have, like, photos, and they had to be taken, like, for, specifically for the theme. You couldn't use photos that you originally had. Um, and all that and then you also have to write an excerpt and if you I guess do great in the competition since it's like the DC area Maryland area and then Virginia um, they all go to this competition so it's a bunch of schools and if you do good you end up going to nationals I might do a story on that too because my experience for that was kind of horrible that's the end of my story. I did get my, I did get my refund. I did get a camera. I did get my stuff done, but it was still pretty horrifying to me because like it was literally like up to four hundred or more dollars out of my bank account that I couldn't get back for a while, and I was honestly really scared that I wouldn't get it back altogether. That's kind of a lot as a teenager, and I was sixteen, so like I don't think sixteen year olds. Six year olds. Sixteen year olds don't have like four hundred year olds just lying around to like throw on something, you know. That's the end of my story. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and yes, I'll see you all next time. Okay, bye. Spell your name is absolutely perfect and I swear I've never spelled this name.